Are you not entertained? Isn't that why you come here? He took a Jefferson nickel and then yeah, he the got... reviews aren't all out on this thing yet, but, uh, yeah, you know... Yeah, together with duck food. <laughs> that is tone of the day for sure. Is that your first gold ring? Yeah. First one, first gold ring ever, 14 yeah. carats. It's a little beauty. Yeah, we got a video of that. Uh, he got one too, but mine is bigger. <laughs> <laughs> See how that works. A few leaves still cling to the trees along the river. Here in Maine, there's a short window of several weeks from the corn harvest till the ground freezes to metal detect. In 1775, Benedict Arnold led a force of 1,100 men up this same river en route to Quebec during the American Revolutionary War. Our cornfield today is massive. It was first settled back in the late 1700s. All right, we're out in the big cornfield today. This is my third time out here this fall. This is my dream permission. All right, we got a good tone. Hopefully this is something good. Guess what, I'm not gonna do it live. I want it to be something good. Be right back with you. All right, I can see a little bit of it. I don't think it's gonna be anything good. Well, no, it might be a coin. Maybe a silver coin, maybe. See it there? It's going to be just a piece of aluminum. I think that's what it's going to be, just a piece of aluminum. No, it looks like a token. How awesome is that, huh? Looks like a presidential token of some sort. Let's see. Okay. You rub that on your pant leg. It's not going to hurt that at all. Ah, the Statue of Liberty. Is this another Reader's Digest token? Maybe. All right, well, I have better pics of it later. All right, we're on the board, baby. No game pack. This was a sketchy signal, too. I've been digging some aluminum. I thought I dug some more. I got me a silver coin. It's bent over. If I'm not mistaken, there's a crown there on the top. And a head facing the left. I believe it's queen of some sort. Not sure. It's the size of a dime. Get it at home. We can get a better ID on it. How awesome is that, huh? Now I'm entertained. All right, I got something here that's pretty interesting. It's a hot rock. It doesn't look like it belongs out here. Any idea what that might have been for? All right, I'm out here another day out of the cornfield. Been out here a few hours. Not much to speak of. I got a good tone. Let's see. Got a Noka impact. I got it out of the hole. We can discover it together. I think it's going to be a rosette or a... Pocket watch. That's what it looks like. I can see a little bit of it. Uh, looks like a pocket watch. Look at that. That's pretty nice. Sometimes there's a design on the back if you look at get them cleaned up good. Okay, that's what we come up with. That's my find of the day so far. All right, we were getting a weird tone. It was good one way and bad the other. I can see why. Look at the side wall down there. I believe that's going to be a large copper some sort. Yes, sir. Yeah, high tone. Large copper, I believe. What kind? I got no idea. All right, we're back out at the cornfield again. We got Kelly. He's already digging stuff. First find of the day is? It's a little buckle. And what are we going to dig today? We're going to dig it all. All kinds. <laughs> all right, I got a little piece here, and I think I know what it's from because I think I dug another part of it the other day. I think it's part of like a clock, like the hands of a clock. Attach right there. 
if that's what that is. Well, all right, Kelly is over in that other field. I don't know if you can see him over there or not. See if you can zoom in on him. See the orange? It's me something a little old now. Get a little musket ball, baby. All right, Kelly and I might be able to see him over my shoulder, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe the other way. We're in the big field now. Now they're in the big field, got a big musket ball. Wait for it. Ah, how is that? All right, I got Kelly over here checking out my uh, find. It looked like a piece of aluminum until I flipped it over. Well, let me show you what I got. Let me show you what I got first. I don't even want to look. I don't even want to look, Rich. Wait. You want to look? There's good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's in here someplace. It's got like initials on it and stuff. Oh, wait. Come on. This is really good. <laughs> oh, my freaking word. That's nice. Ooh. It's got to be silver, huh? Sure. I don't know. Tomback? It's a shield of it's some a sort. shield for what? Why would there be it's initials got, on it? There is something on it. Yeah, there's four initials. Four letters. You ain't brushed it off yet? No. Yeah, I'll let you hold that. Let me hold that, Rich. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. That's a good banana right there. I don't know. Oh, wow. Four initials. Mm-mm. That's beautiful. It's not marked or anything on the bag. I think it's silver, though. Probably. That's got to be silver. Look at that. That pretty, huh? Find of the night so far. If you can see it real well on there, Rich. There you go. Yep. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> All right, you did get a flat button, a couple syringes. Uh, yeah, I got a couple little buckles. Yeah, we, we, we should have to shut off our machines. It's getting dark real fast. We've got a ways to go. All right, we're back at home for uh, a wrap-up of the highlights of our trips to the cornfield. Getting little pieces of uh, Cordal Bell, Cordal Bell Slaw, I guess. Some rivets, a pocket watch, uh, a couple musket balls, our Reader's Digest token, the uh, Statue of Liberty version. Remember in the last video I got the, uh, the Eagle version. A key, a little flat button, cornfield copper, no detail. It is a large scent. And the obverse, you can see where it said one cent. So it's a large scent, but it's so far gone, you'll get nothing on it. And our silver coin is a 1901 Canadian silver dime that's folded it right in half. I'll have to do a video later on, maybe me unfolding it. Anyway, that's what it is. Vicky Younghead. To go over here to uh, the chart Jackie Smith provided. And Victoria was, 1901 was her last year. So that was last year. Her And the prize is the little silver shield with the initials on it. I have no idea if it's some type of inlay or what that went to. Any ideas on that, please let me know. Um, for size reference, that's a, that's a dime right next to it. So gives you some idea. Well, thanks for watching. Good luck and happy hunting.